Hey everyone, I'm John Sasson and today we're taking a look at the Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master Lens. the lens itself so if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video because I'll be doing a full review on this coming shortly. Now Sony have been on a wild ride with lenses they've released quite a few for different types of photographers for different applications well just recently they have released a 14 millimeter f1.8 so this is going to be great for anyone that likes to shoot wide angle seascapes, landscapes, architectural photography, and let's not forget astrophotography as well. Now with its f1.8 aperture, it's going to be great in low light situations, which is why I think this is going to be a great lens for astro. And being a G Master lens, you can actually expect the latest and greatest tech within this lens. Now just taking a look at it right off the bat, it is fairly small and light for what it offers, so compared to other manufacturers within this class and range, it's going to be a great addition to anyone's kit where they don't want anything to be too heavy. Now I have been shooting this for the past week, so I'm going to show you a few of the images that I've got out of this lens, but before I do that, let's take a look at the design of the lens itself. Alright, so just to give you a quick tour of this lens. Here is the 14mm f1.8 GM in all its glory. So it is fairly small for what it is, and I do like its size and weight. Just taking this lens hood off, well, this lens cap, uh, it does have a, a lens hood, a pedal type lens hood, which you can't remove, so that always stays on, which I think is a bit convenient. It is convenient for, I guess, um, protecting the lens. Uh, from any knocks and bumps but of course its main feature is to block out any flare from the sun and other light sources as well. Now over here you do have a uh, an aperture ring so all the way to f16 and of course the A mode essentially means that you can control the aperture through the the body of the cameras uh, instead of controlling the aperture through the lens. So at the moment I do have the clickless aperture enabled so if I do switch this on going to hear some clicks like that and of course being a G Master lens you do have a lot of features such as this focus hold button which can be customized for different features uh, different settings within the camera itself you also have a switch to change from autofocus to manual focus and of course you do have a focusing ring just here now taking a look at the bottom you do have the minimum focusing distance uh, so this is a lens that can focus at 25 centimeters. As we take this lens cap off, uh, you can see that there is a rubber gasket around here. Um, obviously, I can't take the lens apart, so there it, the whole lens is weather sealed, uh, which is going to be great for adverse conditions. But an interesting note over here is that you do have, um, I guess, like a place where you can attach a filter. So there is a filter template that's included. This is a feature that was included on the 12 to 24 f 2.8 G master lens that Sony released not too long ago. So essentially you can attach a filter to the rear of this lens because you can't attach a filter to the front. Okay, so my first impressions of the lens is that it feels really solid in the hand. It doesn't feel too front heavy when mounting this on an A7 III. I do have it on the A9 at the moment and just having it like that, it feels very nice and solid and feels like a great kit. Although pairing it with like say an A7R4, A7R3 or an A1, I think this lens will really shine, especially with those higher megapixel cameras. But with that being said, I think there is a lot to like about this lens, although I do feel it is a bit specialized for what it does offer. Uh, for myself, I feel like it's a bit too wide, but of course for other photographers like astrophotographers, uh, landscape photographers, they're gonna see a real benefit with this type of lens. All right, so currently shooting with the Sony A9 and the 14mm f1.8. And as you can see, there is a lot of real estate uh, around me. So if you wanna fit a lot of people within your vlog, uh, there you go, this is probably a lens to get, although it is a bit expensive, so 
I wouldn't really get this lens if you're intending to use it for vlogging purposes. It's more like a secondary option that you can have, but obviously uh, I would use this more for photos, but I just took a few um, videos looking at myself and I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty nice. So I am actually shooting this in 1.8, but if I go to like, say, f16, uh, you can actually see a lot more that's focused within the frame. In terms of image quality, it looks amazing. There's a lot of contrast, so it's very sharp, and of course there is a bit of distortion, but having that f1.8 is going to be a great addition for anyone that especially shoots astrophotography. In Australia, it's about $2,199, which is actually pretty reasonable in my, in my opinion. Uh, obviously in different countries, it's going to be a different price, but Given its specifications and obviously the focal length and its class, I actually thought it was going to be a lot more money. So that's great to see and I do like what it offers. Obviously you can't attach filters to the front of it because it does have a convex sort of glass element on the front, but Sony did think of including a filter template so you can actually attach filters on the rear of the lens itself. Now this will still be a bit of a hindrance for people that want to use different types of filters, especially if you use more than one. So hopefully in the near future, there may be some filter holders from different manufacturers like Case, Nissi, Hyder that will actually make a filter holder for this, uh, for this particular type of lens. All right, so that's about it for me. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can always subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on social media, on Facebook and Instagram for more sample photos and photo updates. And of course, check, uh, check that description down below for more information about this lens as well as affiliate links that do support the channel. Now, until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.